Welcome back everyone to the channel and welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. We're doing a full playthrough of the remastered game here. We finished Life is Strange original uh, remastered last week. I'm streaming right now so make sure to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash yt and yeah I'm trying to live stream daily until we finish Before the Storm as well. So I'm going to be live sometime around 4 p.m. GMT so make sure you stop by then and see me play this live of course there won't be any face cam on the twitch stream because i don't have face cam capabilities right now but that's the joy of coming over to my youtube you get to see my live reaction you'll be only hearing my voice in the live stream but here you can see my face so welcome to before the storm this is the prequel to life is strange so let's see how things look i i hear it looks crisp it looks nice so we're in for another story. I played through this recently, about four or five months ago. So we'll see if my decisions changed over the five, four or five months that I've lived <laughs> since we last played this. So yes, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you smash that like button to let me know. Subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well. So you're notified as soon as I upload next. Now, without further ado... Sadly, there is no uh, streamer settings under audio, so we're going to have to go with no music volume. I hope the subtitles work, so we'll see. And without further ado, let's go. Episode 1, Awake. This is the. This is going to be fun, very fun. And the bonus farewell episode is also remastered, so that is coming up as well. So without further ado, let's go with Awake. Time to start the episode. Let's see how the remastered version looks. Before the Storm is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. Choose wisely. I mean, we're veterans in this on this channel here. Wow, things already look good. It already. I mean, they should look similarly, like closely um, remastered, like the original. Let's see. That's a waste of a cigarette. Let me know if the audio is a little too loud. Maybe it might be a tad bit loud. We'll see. Anyway. Vamos. Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. Yeah, her face Office. is a lot more detailed now. That's good. That is good. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Look at her face. The detail is in. I like it. The hair moves a bit as well, which is good. And yes. So compared to Life is Strange 1. Oh, there's Principal Wells. Um, this text I'll do. So compared to the original Life is Strange, this... Uh, is the way to get the collectibles so um, she is a graffiti artist right Chloe likes to tag things so we're gonna be tagging a lot of stuff in this one so let's take a look at the fence and then oh right it changed no trespassing no way so I guess a lot of people struggled with the press and sh move uh, option uh, so yeah Square Enix decided to go for the keyboard option I feel like this runs a lot smoother, Holy I think. Shit. This remastered game is running slightly smoother. I mean, the fire looks kind of 2D. Don't worry, that's not the stream or my recording software. This it looks kind of weird, but... Awesome. Okay, we're if good. I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Hmm. I think... Isn't that the truck we see in the junkyard? Hold on, I'm gonna try and memorize 7v1. Sidemen versus one. <laughs> Seven v one. Well, we'll see. Machinery. Because I feel like uh, a little spoiler alert. We're going to see that in a junkyard, I think. We'll see. Closed. It's my theory. Betting stub. If I owed somebody a thousand Damon dollars, Merrick. I'd be shitting my hmm. pants. I know you're kind. I know you're That's Merrick, isn't it? To get a room. Yikes. Whoa! Damn. Damn. Stop saying my words. 
Okay. Bonfire. Oh, ponder. This is the moment of Zen Mom thing. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Alright, now that the fact that the space came up, I think her moment of zen, her moment of ponder is over. This RV is just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Of course, that's Frank's RV. Gas can. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. <laughs> Apparently. Hmm. Add a boy. Let's graffiti. Now what to draw? Not a meth lab, or <laughs> not a meth lab. Breaking Bad reference, I guess. Recreational vandalism. There we go. Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Smart. All right. So we tab, and we can find stuff. Ah, we can do that. Prison wall, lost unicorn, something sharp. It's not as clear. The the, the hints are not as clear cut as Life is Strange original. But we'll try to get all of them. We will. But of course, the most important thing this is to progress with the story. We're here for the story. Bike. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Okay. Cool bike, bro. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Might be a traditional thing. And oh, new dialogue unlocked. Sweet. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> Let's go, bouncer. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Of course, there were some mini games in this uh, game, which I kind of enjoyed. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. Says no one who is legit. <laughs> it's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Whoa. Let's play a game, Can't boy. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Yeah, the bike, I'm assuming I already saw it too. God, again? What do you want, kid? Um, your bike. Is that your bike over there? Yep. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Is that all? Is that all? Uh, okay. So we do need to play the minigame. Backtalk challenge. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Okay. In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. I mean, that's Chloe's... Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Thought we went over this. Past your bedtime? Past your bedtime. I guess bedtime is the key. Yeah, okay. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. I mean, this is common sense, to be honest. Um, I mean, common sense, I say, but I mean, you subconsciously do this as a human. You listen to what they say and then respond to it. Real cute, but I still don't know you. Again, listen to your opponent's words, of course. I don't do cute. Cute is relative. I'm gonna Kittens try that. Riding tiny mopeds are cute. <laughs> I'm more like Red Sonia riding a Panzer tank. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. I'm a tough girl. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out here. Playground is a good response to kid. Uh, okay. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. Nice. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Protect. Protect. Oh, flowers on your bike? A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. <laughs> that is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> Look. My boss decides who gets in, alright? Boss, uh... 
bosses suck. Bosses suck. There we go. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yes. Yep. What if I had a knife? No, no prob problem. <laughs> then? Don't care. What if I had You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. Wow, that was easy. This right. is intense. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Whoa. Of course, there's no music. There's music in the background, but I turned off music, so. Don't touch my soul with dirty hands. Pastime beer. Oh, there's this sleaze ball. Merrick dude, right? Just Devin follow Mar the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Pet the dog, of course. What's her name? Delia. Delia. He just said. Oh. Cute. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> Drunk girl. Yeah, she, she so needs some water. Girl, you're missing the show. Jeez. Don't mess again? with Devin Damon Merrick. This guy? Damon Merrick. Exactly Whoa. Yeah. No shit. This car could slide down any minute. Of course, that's a small little puzzle. Of course. TV okay, shirt good. vendor. That's exactly what we need. Thank Is that you. guy selling merch? Yeah, I mean. Wish I had some cash. Out. This place is mob. Hey. Let's see. Are you selling 20 any bucks? What? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for a T-shirt. That's really expensive. Facts. Yeah. Now no, no, there no. is a solution to all this. But up, up, up. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, I need to you distract this guy, exactly don't I? <laughs> I told you twenty bucks. You looking to get beat? You looking to get beat? Cause I'm that about to whoop dick. your bum. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. All right. No worries. We will get creative. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get hmm. me for my birthday. What's up with kids and knives? You. you don't you don't want to her, play with knives ever. Okay, good. Hmm, I forget exactly how you distract this you. dude. Don't you judge me, spooky beer head. I'm here for the band. The band. Um, chill girl. Wait, what? How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Hmm, Frank's right there as well. Dartboard. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Oh. Sketch Central. Yeah, Damon Merrick and some other Donny that I forget. Hold on, how do I? Okay, good. Oh, I can just go ahead and release. I thought I, like that Sorry, option didn't dude. appear earlier. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. No, 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 no. Oh Jesus. Come on. Hmm. Thanks for playing, Dick. <laughs> All right. We will like to take a T-shirt. Oh yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. Oh jeez. That's like 200 bucks. Um, I left it last time. Does it have massive repercussions? I think I might try it. Let's try and steal the money. I mean, obviously it will have consequences, but hey. Why not? Holy shit. 
I'm rich. Just want to try different things. If you guys want to see the other playthrough, check down below. Um, there's a link to a playlist on my YouTube channel. Whoa, I haven't seen this guy. 300 dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. Dear members of Arcadia Bay, Steve Doors Association, the Prescott Foundation have recently purchased Arcadia Bay Marine Corporation as part of their bankruptcy settlement, has decided to eliminate your position along with the positions of all 307 members of your union. Yikes. Furthermore, the foundation is liquidating all assets of ABMC, including the Longshore's pension. Longshoreman's pension which has been granted as payment against credit owed be advised that your employment agreement forbids you from disclosing any company practices or methods of operation including the details of this workforce reduction best of luck sincerely Prashant. what is that even legal i highly doubt that's legal but sure sweet dreams hombre maybe it is legal and that's what square enix are getting at oh we can graffiti the saw didn't know about that Uh, evil eye. Oh, I what see you, you some. At? Nice. That's pretty cool. Nice. We're going to try and get as many graffitis as possible here. Prison wall, lost unicorn. Okay. Ooh, let's push through. Here we go. There's Rachel Amber right there. Death center. With the blue. Oh dear. Oh, fuck. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Um. Hmm. Not gonna blow him off. <laughs> yep. It has a totally bad, different dude. meaning, I know, but. You don't know still. who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care either. I know you're a sleaze ball. Ooh. All right. Mosh pit is a no go. Fine. Yikes. You dialogue Maybe I unlocked. Can get a better view of the action from up above. Okay. I guess we could go talk to Frank. He's kind of a good dude. Hey. Oh, either way, we get to talk to Frank. Okay. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd hmm. you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. The internet. <laughs> How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Um, that guy. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah, I know him. He works for Damon. Oh, he Merrick? works for Damon. Oh, I thought that was Damon Merrick. Never mind. This is his place. Damon's uh, a friend of mine. Business associate. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. <laughs> Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I? <laughs> Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Okay. Fine. So it's a good spot to go. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you Ooh. give me the 175 bucks. We could pay him you. back with the money we just stole. I mean, it's gonna look awfully sketchy. We'll try. We'll try. A dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey, what are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So where's my pot? Hmm. No Interesting. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. You see, he you know, knows. Price, you're cramping my style. He knows. I'll see you later. Whatever. Interesting. I want to see how this story goes. 
because last time I didn't steal the money. Um, I'm interested to see what kind of impact it has. Awesome, air guitar. Great brand, great band, bro. <laughs> I'm probably gonna add some funny music over this, maybe, in the YouTube video. <laughs> Okay, so we could enjoy the music, but there's no music really right now. So we're gonna space and leave. Oh, bad boy. You spilled my beer, bitch! What the heck's his problem? You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Ooh, big boy with big words, huh? I'm gonna apologize consistently. Hey. I'm sorry about the beer, okay? Not good enough. Um. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Yikes. Hey, dickhead. <laughs> Sounds like a real Brit. Oi, dickhead. Um, I think we ran last time. Let's try to tag. Oh, ouch. Okay, so she gets a black eye then. All right. Rachel? Come on. Interesting. Hurry up. Hmm, Frank. Let me go, Frank. Oh. Not gonna happen. Calm down. Come on, man. Walk away. Screw this. Now, Holy did shit. Rachel Amber already date Frank at this time, you think? Because, of course, in the original game, uh, Chloe didn't know that Rachel dated Frank. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, this is how they meet. Apparently. Yep. In silence. <laughs> A silent disco is where they meet. <laughs> Alright. We back in the price house. You could say these artifact artifacts are priceless. <laughs> Here we go, officially the start of the episode. Deck 9, of course those, the guys who remastered the whole game. I wonder if Deck Knight originally made this game as well. I think they did. They made True Colors. Um, because I think... Don't Not Entertainment... Did they go into administration? I'm not sure. Unsure. Yeah, so Chloe has that scar now. If we attack. Life Strange Before the Storm Remastered Awake. Okay, I can leave. I'm not going to waste time here. Mainly because there's a lot of stuff to explore. Q 
Okay. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. That is pretty cool. How much we can look at? Hey, Max. Max hey, Caulfield. Yeah. Another day in paradise. Right? So she completely blocked Max out after she the left, I guess. The rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Whoa. Okay, I think... I think we can read this. They're not, there's not too many text here. Max, so you know how I stopped going to class so much, like you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story, I had terrible coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't, I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead at dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. I wish I'd figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Press from Blade Runner popped up into my head last time I rubbed Ooh. okay I mean at first I was thinking about Decker and that smolder of his but then Pris just totally stole the show probably nothing there I think I just want her bangs Chloe the electric sheep Max the loser yeah that's right I called you a loser want to know why because you weren't at firewalk last night even Frank was there he's my dealer or mom if you're reading this he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this <laughs> um it was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks so and verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the stuff. Who knew rages like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay F Seattle. Plus I had a sweet as black eye from a souvenir for a souvenir NBD, but there were these two um uh, a whole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night loser? Firewalk and Chloe is better than Max. Okay. Dear Max, I got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say because we haven't talked in three months despite all my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. Mm, there's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe the unfriended. Uh, Max, now this is more like it. Here I can write to you all I want without wondering if or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Uh, maybe one day when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe we'll, we'll decide that journal Max is way cooler than reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend and pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe the journal boss. Okay, I think this is the last one. Uh, Yeah. Max, ready? So mom suggested taking a road trip next summer and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she started talking about David being there. Yes, that David, the wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on, my, on mom and has struck around like a bad zit. Dad, David, the mustache monster from Planet <laughs> Dipshit, that effing David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then or breathing. Hey, stuff happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues and I've got serious self-immolation. Look it up, nerd plans. <laughs> Jeez, the game is breaking the fourth wall there. She can and she can do better, that's all I meant, but she didn't want to hear it like I'm the a-hole. Okay, so she is having a lot of family problems. Also, trying to cope with the death of William. Goodness me, there's a whole bio for these people. We... Okay, sure. Um, Lost Unicorn, Prison Wall, and David's stuff. I feel like this is all in the house, and then this is now moving closer to the school. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Rachel that Amber, the most, Rachel Amber? most popular girl in the school, apparently, according to your journal. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Okay. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. Hmm. She looks a little too pasty white in the mirror. I don't know. Maybe she is feeling a little hungover. 
she was wrong and it was awesome hmm. report card oh wow uh switch off i'm assuming the alarm clock's going off uh periodic table improve maybe is that the graffiti maybe better living <laughs> 420 mj nice uh joint wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast <laughs> okay let's take a Man, look at the report card i'm killing it this year c c d I don't think mom's okay. going to feel the same way she's gonna get one more report card with the f and stuff on it so let's trash it yeah no one needs to see that thank you class photo that really was Rachel Amber. Hmm. And she saved my oh, life. Oh, Warren. How was last night even real? Hayden Jones. Nice. Zachary. Trevor. All the people from Alyssa. Logan. All the people. Oh, is that Stella? Yes, yeah, Stella. Rachel Amber is here. Nathan Prescott in the middle. Victoria Chase. Juliet Watson. Brooke. Dana Ward. Elliot. Um... Justin, yeah, all the people from the original game, pretty much. She was in that class, essentially. Um, Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. So this is how she found out about Firewalk, okay. Wait, what? Who? Commented what on a photo that? you're tagged in. <laughs> I have feelings about this. Oh, no. Most of them are not good feelings. Firewalk, jealous, you look hot. What, who's the arm candy? Deborah something, Deborah Borgen, I think. So fun, kisses, glam, get it, girl. Who's Deborah Borgen with Rachel in the picture? Uh, Rachel, you're so gorgeous. I hate you. And who's Armand? Um, dude, that's Chloe Price. Um... Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Oh, no. I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. Steph. Who's Steph? Oh, that's um, Steph from True Colors. This is really a really intelligent conversation. Alyssa. Yeah. Interesting. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. She tore up the photo. Hmm. Don't blame her. She's in pain. Key mortals in the light of the glowy bear. Okay, so now I'm big news. Oh. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Okay. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Okay, she's in depression. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Um. Maybe. Everything's worth a shot. You miss hundred percent of the shots you don't drink, of course. Um, I think we were able to check all these drawers and stuff. So let's quickly go through these. Ah, uh, yeah. This, mix CD years ago. this was also in the original and because game. Because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. <laughs> Funny. What's in here? As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were. Hmm, Elliot, were right. Compared to Firewalk last night. She dated him, didn't she? I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Haha, <laughs> only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy z two month anniversary. Two month anniversary. Huh. Mr. Sharky. Fun fact Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. <laughs> Raw. That's a bit morbid. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Um, let's check our drawer and get dressed, of course. Ah, I think you can choose our outfit. Is it just like the deluxe edition where we can choose different outfits? Did we get... Huh? I, I, I'll, I dig this. Maybe this is a good shirt. Good outfit. All right, short. Sure. Make good use of the $20 shirt that we just stole. Actually, a $220. Oh, now we have some weed, so 
Okay. That's different. Because we purchased it last night. Uh, I really should get going. Okay, we're leaving. Shit. Where's my phone? Oh boy. God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I Too drunk? Access. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay. So okay. we gotta go. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Read the book. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Hmm. Blech. Love Don't after give loss. Up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Hmm. Better. Hmm. It's a foreshadow. It's a full shadow. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Hmm. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Or someone else is in the picture. As you can tell. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine. If I'm ever stupid enough to get married. <laughs> Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Whoa. That's a lot of money. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Okay. Oh, family I photo. She hides all our old pictures of dad. I made this for mom when I was like hmm. 10 years old. Let's place it on dresser. She wore Sorry, Chloe. But yeah, we're putting it on the dresser. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. All right, let's see what else. Drawer open. This is gonna sp scar you for life. <laughs> Mom, bad enough that David comes here for dinner. That's <laughs> what you get for being nosy. <laughs> um, I think we got everything, so we will hold on. Let me just quickly. Prison wall and David stuff is what's left here. I think. Wonder where prison wall could be. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Yikes. Oh, we hear it. Must be in the bathroom. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Let me quickly look oh, at this po photo. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. <laughs> and he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Okay, I see it on my... I hear it on my right. There we go, in the corner. Just gonna check all this the stuff before we... Towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of before we go. Arcadia Bay. Hmm. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. <laughs> Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Yikes. There we go. There we go. I stop seeing my words. Whoa. Mom, um, will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Well, sorry, Mom. Uh, 
Jeez, okay, Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much. Got stuff to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. <laughs> okay. So that's the text messages now. That's a thing. Okay, these are locations, I'm assuming. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's let's do these. Um Okay. Purse. Oh, and can you grab my cell phone too? Copy that. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. Um whoa. <laughs> it's a floating uh, pillow up there. So Illuminati confirmed. Okay. <laughs> it's a floating pillow. Okay, we're going down. Short. Oh, left mouse Coming, button now. Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. I might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Hmm. So dining, dining table, table, I'm assuming. Here I come. Okay. Photos. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Yikes. David's here so early. Ooh. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. <laughs> you never saw the condoms. Yikes. Scarred for life. Uh, let's do a quick tour here. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Yikes. Okay, so that's a dialogue option Any unlocked. From Blackwell is never oh good. dear. Blackwell letter. Let's open it. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> oh. Like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Wow. Okay, so they need to pay 550 for scholarship or tuition. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Yikes. <sighs> and never looked back? Hmm. Family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Can I graffiti that as prison wall? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? You peaked when your dad was around, and then when he died, it's you kind of took it hard. Plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. Okay. We're already supporting one. Thanks. <laughs> Support our vets. Nice. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. Yeah, the story from the last time. the reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Ashtray. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Hmm. Like, Keychain. Those aren't mom's keys. And it's David's these keys. Would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his <laughs> home, maybe. Well, he is pretty much invading this house. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship to Japan. <laughs> Shipyard closing through uh, the real estate developer Sean Prescott promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased a shipyard. He announced this week that he will be ending operations effective immediately in a move not surprising to longtime residents of the region. The Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Steve Dorr Association's uh, defined pension plan. Michelle Kinsley 
Kinsey Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the action as our right to recoup recouping unrecovered losses against debts owed. Sean Prescott could not be reached for comment. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Issued for all residents, okay. It's fines double for illegal fireworks and campfires in unauthorized this areas. This is Principal Ray Wells. Oh. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. <laughs> Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Yikes. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasized that in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year won by sophomore Stella Hill and Brooke Scott, the school's program of need-based scholarship remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. I never like I understand you're an institution with, you know, like needs, but I just don't understand why you would increase tuition. It's it's a, it's a, it's a company after all, I understand, but still little dudes like I've never I've happen? never heard tuition fall. So it means that you guys are making more profit every year. Clearly. Um, anything else that we can interact with before we progress with the story by putting down the Dad's purse. home swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Yikes. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Hmm. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? <laughs> Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Okay, interesting. That's another conversation piece. Let's drop this on the dining table then. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here? All Mic day? drop. I should Purse see what drop. mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? Oh. It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the <laughs> snark. Uh... Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Hmm. Let's try the engagement ring first. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Hmm. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about Yikes. you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's go with the other option then. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Start school. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You Final do choice. Realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old fashioned. Yeah, an old fashioned dickhole. Yikes. <laughs> it's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, What are you gonna eat? Ha 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 Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. 
And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume Next. that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. <laughs> Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Hmm. Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be Maybe left alone. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need Maybe to you're supposed to be the David mom here and business. help Chloe. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Stop pushing off your duty as a mom to help your child over a death. Like that is the... That's what gets me every single time I play this. Dad, the mom is so, man. so useless. That's not fair. I'm sorry. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. You see? Precisely that. David's had some hard times too. Is you know? what you have to focus on. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you... To school. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> you will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such what, Chloe? Such what? BS. Mom's trying, I guess. She's not trying in the right yeah, direction, though. That's the problem. You have what's to the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the big choice again. Um, I think we were understanding the first time, but should we try? Say what you feel, because I feel like that would be what Chloe would do. I mean, I think I did be understanding in my previous playthrough, which you can find on my YouTube channel, as I keep saying. But let's do... Let's try this. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly. Chloe, and if your father could hear you. Yeah, if your father could hear yeah, you, he wouldn't right. even be in the picture. Your dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. Yikes. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. The you point where dad died. Right. That's where you David's lost her. Waiting. You're supposed to help her. Keys. You're the mom. I know you're in pain as well, but Go you gotta work now. together. And you left Chloe out of the, the picture for this whole David thing. Humiliating thing mom could ask me to do. Exactly. Precisely. You see, this is what we just expressed. And I just don't understand Joyce's thinking here. Like you're supposed to have a talk with your daughter about the death of your father like it's not an easy thing you know and she's just neglecting that duty okay i think we checked everything here anyway I'm gonna take keys maybe i can toss it out the back porch like um from life is strange the first one <laughs> no point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with david all right let's go can we go through the gar garage? No, we can't. We're just going out the front door, okay. Oh, Steph is texting us. Hey. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Steph, good to see her from True Colors. Let's leave. All right.
What a piece of crap. The car, too. Hmm. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Whoa. Oh, All right there. Us. Stop being so misogynistic, you little twat. All right, oh, that is rude. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. You see, this guy is disrespectful in the first place, too. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. I don't see a black eye, to I be honest. Your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, is that when small rich, little dark circle under your eyes? I don't know. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. Yes. I'm a Formula I One driver. I said I know what it does. I know what the V is. Grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. I'm an exo Formula One driver. Okay. Anyway. What is this? Quality can I murder time? this guy? <laughs> Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Can I crack Chinese his windshield? Penis and all of our <laughs> there's a there's a spelling mistake there, Chinese by the way. Penis oh, never mind. Bay. Was there one earlier? I think there was. Tiniest penis. I don't know. Bay. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. I'll take a look in the um, recording. Thought there was a spelling mistake in there somewhere. Never mind. Anywho. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Moving in, pretty much. Does he think he's moving in or something? Yes. Alright, so here's the thing. Um let's take a look at what okay, prison wall, David's stuff. Let's let's try to get those two here. If not, it might be the prison wall thing and somewhere else. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's <laughs> car ever catches on fire. Nice. Stereo? Yeah. Oh yeah, that Stereo goes into Chloe's room later. Workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Oh, the camera that Mental we give camera. to Max in the original game. Do they even make film for these anymore? Yes. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Uh-oh. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Yeah. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. <laughs> lawnmower. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Hmm. Dad's toolbox. Nice. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Okay. Car repair guides. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Nice. Let's open up Sesame Street. Huh. Socket wrench right there. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. <laughs> Maybe 90-10. Maybe 100-0. Let's graffiti this. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Um... Intruder. Got it. <laughs> Intruder alert. Home improvement. Unimprovement. <laughs> what an achievement name. Uh, let's see here. Tab to check. And there we go. Intruder alert. Prison wall. Might be black wall thing. So we'll keep the story going. Muscle car. We looked at it already. Okay. So there's nothing else we can really interact with. So we'll talk to David and give him the socket wrench. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Shut the f Shut your dirty mouth. I swear to God, man. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Shut the f This guy. The worst, the biggest prick of all of Arcadia Bay, you can tell. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. deposits. Yeah. Shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. Shine bright like a diamond. All right.
Wait, you just pulled out the spark plug. You didn't put it back in, or did you? I don't know. I may have missed it. <laughs> Your car's not going to run without the spark plug, buddy. Created by Bosch, by the way. Leave him hanging. Mic drop. What the f <laughs> how you do anything is how you do everything. <laughs> oh, shut the front door, buddy. Go suck it. Now I need a shower. Nowadays, you can call that sexual harassment, to be honest. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? No Free consent there. Needs a good toolbox. Needs a good tool. <sighs> yes, that's you. One, but thanks. <laughs> this ain't a penis measuring contest, David. Keep it in your pants. Buddy. Ready to... Roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. Mm. Is it drugs? We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a Okay, there, so buddy. There some things I want to be real. This guy has the worst choice of words. Shut this down. Respect him. I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has And to he say. is using the worst What's words possible to explain his you. position. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Way out of line, language? young. Um, French is a language. Chimapel don't give a shit. Chimapel <laughs> don't give a shit. <laughs> you got a smart mouth, don't you? Yes. Smart mouth. Uh, dumb it down. Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, Nothing else. I can't crap it. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Uh, oh, that's what I smell. What the heck does that Giant mean? I can crap it. <laughs> I can crap bigger than you. you. That's weird. Your mother. Breaking her heart. Breaking her heart. Um, at least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is. What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero <laughs> game? Savage. Savage. Army and respect. I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting. There we go. Boom. So don't treat me like your Big dub. Group. Big dub. If you were a man, I It's I'd... cool. If you were a man. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. You got to love Chloe's talk back talk man. Mission accomplished. Noise. Enjoyed the quiet drive to school. Oh, good song this. Sadly, music's off. But, yep. Burning Country. the midnight oil Music. again. Listening to Dad the wind. Can't tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight wall again. I just again. called to tell you that <laughs> there we go. I miss you, my old friend. Burning, Burning the midnight wall again. again. Written by one of the writers, I think. It's a good song. It kind of fits what the a game. Day. Uh, purse. This. That this is cursed. Right. That's a cursed image. Uh, let's take a look at the socket wrench. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. There's the CD next to it. Um, anything else? Now we gotta s look at William. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. <laughs> Dad, turn it up. <laughs> turn up the silence. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Whoa. That ain't good. It's gonna get run over. I like trains. So she's probably gonna wake up and now go to Blackwell. Alrighty. the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Let's be Shit. nice. 
Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Oh, oh you see Lord. everything. Guy's an attitude. Guy's a worse attitude than Chloe, gotta say. Hello, Black Hell. Hey. Think there's a lot to interact with in this area, so let's do these. Hmm. Ah, cool. Blackwell Academy. Oh, there's Elliot. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? I really don't see the black guy. Do you see it? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true. I really then. don't see it. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin him. I really don't see the black guy, man. So, or is how it the, about the Tempest? I don't know. Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Uh, Beta Boy. That sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. Warren and Elliot are pretty much the All same. Right. They're just like yeah, beta humans. Sure. <laughs> Maybe even Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anywho. Press and hold to view your objective. Pick up my DVD. Oh, I right. Time before class. That was a new thing. Oh, what up, Skip? Oh, Steph. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Okay, on my way. Let's talk to Skip. Oh, yeah. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Mm. Black eye. Ah, right. I can faintly Whatever. see it, I did ask but not as badly as when the original game came out. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night, cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, you went to the mill last night? It was yes. cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Uh, good music. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but yeah, the facial expression looks Pisshead, huh? clean. W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Great. Ah, I gotta love the silence. Great song, mate. Great song. Think I can leave. Doesn't matter. So, what did you think? That was really good, man. Yeah, Pissed silence was great. Radio, I turned that shit up. Yeah, oh, turn off the silence. Right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. Okay, we good here. Let's talk to Miss Grant. She's always a great person to talk to. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Everyone's yeah, gonna ask I'm about fine. the black eye. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Uh. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, 
I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. <laughs> what kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely Oof. generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Hmm, you don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. I mean, every single program at schools want more funds. Sad. What is that? Okay. The art supports STEM too. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Maybe I can burn the school down with the lasers. Do not walk on the stage. Well, you can't tell me what to do. You don't own me. Maybe this is later on in the story. I'm just going to sit on the crate. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. We're the don't care nation. All right, we're leaving. Short and sweet. Principal Wells. Hi. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm, uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. <laughs> you never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price. The sign clearly says, do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Yikes. How about minor infractions? How many minor infractions and a major one? <laughs> this is no joke, Miss Price. I'm I understand. Joking. You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Hmm. You seem to be doing an awful good job when Trevor is smoking it up. My olfactory sense does not fail me. I'd say you've recently been exposed oh, that's to new. marijuana smoke. I don't Shit. remember that happening. I happen. have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price. That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Hmm. Actually, no. Let's try this. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Hmm. This might Actually, be difficult. Sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Run dry. My well is deep. Sir, my well of witticisms runs so deep that you would get trapped at the bottom and never make it out alive. Okay. Jokes, in my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Um. The guilty have rights? How did you Ooh, learn the okay, 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 okay. learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment? A legal search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Hmm. I wonder if nice. the Prescotts might reconsider their donation. If ah, so that helps us. The talk with Miss Grant. Nice. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? Ooh. I'm sure we uh, Ooh. do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price. We got out of it. This nice. is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. 
I like hanging off cliffs. Just a couple yes. years ago, something <laughs> like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at like the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. You see, this is the problem you have when you don't take care of your child. Like clearly, mom and Chloe needed to have a nice talk. Need my DVD from Steph. Yeah, relax. I bet she's nerding it up with the future needs excellence. The future is hmm. an asshole. <laughs> Oh, there's a Victoria Chase, a wild Victoria Chase just chilling here. Ah, Carrie Price. Chloe Price. It's Get Chloe. the name right. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award. Jesus for my Christ. Can you everyone just shut the Between front door? That and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Hmm. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. She is getting jealous. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, really? that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. Facebook is a place really for are. old uh, ladies so to what's she into? start. You know. What's her gossiping thing? about vaccines and I'm not judging her conspiracy theories. I no. figure <laughs> if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. You know? Yikes. I mean, look at your face. <laughs> Seriously, I don't look know at yourself. To me about Rachel. <laughs> oh, so much attitude it. everywhere. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel yeah. Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh, Ugh. what a diss. I'm not going to sabotage her. We're just going to walk away. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? <laughs> it's I don't know. Karen Chase. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. We talked to Skip. Let's talk to Samantha. Hey, Chloe. Oh, wow. Hey, so much detail in all the characters now. I like it. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oh, I read interesting. that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. Actually, <laughs> well, I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? I don't know. I haven't read this thing. I guess... The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not Kay. sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. The lighting looks that. really good. But I think you're I'm impressed. Actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm actually talking about. Don't have to lose it there. I bet. Samantha. Oh. Do we speak again? I really didn't mean anything. Oh man. Justin. What's up, my bro? Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Um. Crazy house party, maybe? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow. No shit. I thought that place was like Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. <laughs> it is cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Oh. Is he not cool? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and. Hot. <laughs> I mean, she The male me brain back. summarized right I was there. Failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> C plus. Right. Guess I'll see you in class. Just about past eight. Word. Okay. There's a bunch of students just standing like statues over there. 2D statues. It's like cardboard cutouts over there or something. Anywho. Steph and Mikey normally post All right, relax. 
Relax, sister. Can I go to... Oh, there's Evan. He's always in the same spot. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning yes. to you too, Evan. Let's do this. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. I mean, it's the U.S. This is for college, The right? U.S. always has I burning forests because of human idiocy. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, Negligence, you could say. On the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? You she should ask so her, artistic. bro. Just go up to I her and say, "Yo, model. think you're cool." What do you think? Can we I collab guess. on this? Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, mm -hmm. which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Okay. Say knob cone again. <laughs> of no. course, Chloe is gonna. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Yes. Yes. Sure. I love assemblies. Uh, knob Some cones. Of the best <laughs> of my life. Wow! Thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? <laughs> I just sign it, Chloe. No. Come on. Be kind. How seriously am I taking this right now? We're gonna take it real serious. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Black I don't Home even Academy. see. Okay, there we go. Home of tomorrow's leaders. Sign up today. Come exercise your dem democratic rights to assemble and discuss the importance of preventive fire safety to our fragile ecosystem. Principle. Oh, I'm the only one who took it seriously. <laughs> what? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. I'm the only one who took it seriously. Yo. <laughs> and we're going to play a bit of this game. Oh, I love this game. Was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill Is it just challenge? me or does Steph it's Gingrich look a little game, weird? You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which hmm. took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream Is it just me or does Steph look life? weird? <laughs> I don't know. She does look weird a little. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join her game. Mike is about yeah. to lose like I 10 HP. I hours right now. Thanks though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. All right, let's what do it. What you got to do before class? I like to play. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> I'm totally an elf. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. <laughs> one, you have fought your way through the raider camps, Smart. seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the unscarred. As you mm -hmm. enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Okay. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, 
I'm an elf barbarian named uh Calamastia. Calamastia. <laughs> Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Um. I once made a man kebab. <laughs> no way. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Elamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. <laughs> Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn hey, shut him down. You shut stand him down. At a three way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Hmm. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Hmm. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. <laughs> Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you hmm. wish to go? I guess training ground. Sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set oh. orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? <laughs> Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh yeah. melts off their it's bones disgusting. like warm candle wax. Holy shit. <laughs> See why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh guess doesn't matter I guess fatal cleave okay. maybe. Let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks then splits open like a hot dog bun. <laughs> Yikes. Fuck yeah. I'm awesome at this game. She's so into it. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Um. You'll pay for this. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. Huh? my honor, I apologize. Damn. I didn't Here, expect that. Oh. oh. Thanks, dude. It's a candy. What's next? Uh, we go to prison camp, probably. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager. It must have been so fun writing this script. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices hmm. you and in terror runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in okay. ah, poor little guy what's a dragonkin dragonkin are like little dragon people they're assholes i bet he has all the keys oh okay hey shit <laughs> get out of there <laughs> the dragonkin hops up and down shaking his ring of keys at you he shouts in a strange language whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering got any useful spells in that robe of yours nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it mm, do we play this mini game it's intimidate intimidate that's a skill i have can i do that i want the little bastard to shit his pants <laughs> you can try what do what i do say? say listen up you little lizard unfortunately he doesn't speak common which means he I can't cast communication on the dragonkin. Oh. Shit. Really? Now <laughs> I can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. 
So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use... Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. Oh. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Um... Meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove <laughs> my arm up your ass, oh my God. your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to Steph save is, you. Steph is haunted uh, for life. He doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. Yikes. The dragonkin please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgeron, much taller and meaner than you. Uh... Dio You're short, there we go. I say. But you can always get shorter. <laughs> Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death oh with them. Oh my god. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I Yikes. interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. You gotta, you gotta admit, she has some good <laughs> improv skills. Steph's face. <laughs> into, so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. Oh How does that sound? Hmm. Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. Okay. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Yikes. Awesome. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. Oh no. What's next? Warlord's tent. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgeron, warlord Ooh. of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire hmm. fizzles out on contact. Durgur <laughs> laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. <laughs> Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Except for, you know, Aw, darn. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for cloak <laughs> Calamastia? What'll it be? Mm. Brutal punch, maybe? I want to punch that stupid man cow in the dick. <laughs> right, right in the dick? Right in the dick. You miss. Dirt oh, no. Burst out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the side with a horn. Oh. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? Okay. Annihilation strike probably oh, is the holy one. Holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? One? Really? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh dear. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes oh, no. leg. Um legs. Plural. <laughs> Severing both oh my feet god. And ankles. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping Ooh, his Maybe I made a mistake. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? 
save him. Dance. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit. Oh no. Oh no, this is going worse than I thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining Oof. away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing. For his arm, let's try. I axe down onto his arm. The one with the yeah, arm smart. bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. Then he can you attack, yeah. High to hit. You're almost dead. Give me a nine. 20. 20. Yes. Yeah. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, hmm. incinerating him completely from the inside wow. out. Damn, Elamon. A twist at Durgeron the end. Is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia Aww. is dead. Man. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. <laughs> that was Check interesting. I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing oh. skills. Cool. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Big dumb. Bra. Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> you you Three. had. Check. Next stop. Okay, Master we're good. Class. Lego. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, let's go. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, he's Nathan Prescott. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. Hmm. Jock's so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh no. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. Yeah, give his portfolio back. Now. You're such a loser. Why are you gonna be so mean? Take it elsewhere. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks. <laughs> whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. Twitch.tv slash su on YT. At least my family pays tuition. Whoa, okay, let's just relax me. there for a sec, guys. Wow. Yeah. Move, Nathan. My dad let's relax. At the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Hey, Samantha. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same what? time. What? Guys, insecurities there. Oh, dear. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Stop <laughs> you do something. <laughs> uh, we gotta step in. Let's the play this game. To stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got Build to some good again. karma now. Let's do it. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Because you don't seem to understand what I just said. Uh... You're not used to a word that big. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Nathan's an easy target. Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for yeah. Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. Yikes. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. 
crazy freak, mind your own business. I'm crazy, you that's true. No idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Yeah, I want all of it. Piece of cake. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. Nice. <laughs> Samantha. Did you just laugh? Yeah, cuz you Chloe just owned you. Bra bra bra. Yikes. You shut the fuck up. Hey, Samantha, speak up. Go girl. Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time. Prescott had two girls show up to save me. Take your pervy picture book. Yikes. Are you okay? You think I need help from you? Jesus, this guy's You're insecurities. Welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. What's up, Skip? Everything okay here? All good in the hood, bro. No problem, Skip. Alright, let's move on. Mom. Uh, I don't like how we left things. We'll talk more tonight. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. Okay. Let's relax, Chloe. I Oh, well, there we go. We can graffiti this. Oh, I nearly missed it. Good. Good, good, good. Good thing I've been checking everything. Um, Principal Wills rocks. Let's try that. I want her pen. It has infinite ink, Ladies pretty much. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. Wow, that is some good art. Rock Idol. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate my art. Nice. So that's that one. So we got drama nerds. Dead white guy. Hmm. Yikes. Happy Brad, the old car. Okay. Let's get a move on then. Corner. Oh, we can smoke here. Interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. Smoke them if you got. Okay. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Hmm. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. Oh. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Indeed. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Hmm. Nah, fuck that. I'm, uh, done here? Anywho. Alright, Chloe. Better head in. Chemistry won't bore itself. Well, we'll get there. sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. That pick would make a sweet tattoo. Kind of. Marijuana cigarettes, cool. Okay. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future <laughs> excellence. And by future excellence... I mean mole people. Yikes. Oh, it's Rachel Amber. Oh, good. You're here. Okay. Why am I getting dragged? I don't know you. I don't consent. <laughs> I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Is that Hayden? Miranda. Might be Hayden. Oh, my father. What I is up with her earrings? <laughs> Admired Miranda, indeed worth what Jesus, there's a whole rave going on in her ear. I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Oh, Hath this I guy forgot his lines. You're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. Been no, there, mate. Don't, don't worry. Me. Been apologize there. to your scene partner who's been very accommodating. Jesus, her ear and is having a rave, mate. <laughs> and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, 
Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is Ooh, getting wink. as surreal as wink. last night. <laughs> Looking that good, is a Rachel. weird, weird Exquisite voice Rachel acting. As always. Mr. Yikes. Keaton, I'm still having trouble oh my god, the rave. My affections are then most humble. <laughs> I have no ambition to see yeah, a goodlier Yeah, sorry. I mean, Epilepsy warning there, buddy. Really mean that? <laughs> Everyone, I'm sorry. That is out of my control. All the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh uh -oh. perspective. What was the line again? The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, mm. or has she actually just met the love of her life? Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? Twelve? Actually, hmm. she's about fifteen. So your point, whoever you are, <laughs> about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Hey, oh, that's a win. Thanks, that's Mr. a big dub. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> Always everyone hates the freshmen, like relax. They're growing. Kids need support. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh what? The black eye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in okay. my bag over there. Por qué? Uh, sure. Y yeah, sure. Bit weird how we got okay. dragged into this. Uh, get the All right, belt. see ya. Nice knowing don't you. Any stupid shit and don't like fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Never mind. I'm stuck in this room. I'm held at gunpoint. Please send help. <laughs> oh, flat. RA will suck as Prospera. Oh. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent. Is talent. that what got? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you? Slut. Oh, wow. Because they don't call it drama lab for nothing. It's a fight between... Oh, we can comment. It's a fight between Rachel Amber and Victoria Chase, huh? What to say? What to say? Maybe this. Because technically it is. Kind of. I don't know. Either way, I think that's graffiti. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC <laughs> should know. Hmm. Nice. Is that a graffiti thing or no? No, it isn't. Interesting. Okay, that's the bag we need to. This poster definitely check. says. <sighs> Quell, Quell. Let's check your browsing history. Oh yeah, so that's the same Most chat of group. Them are not good feelings. Mm. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Rachel Amber playing Prospera, a newcomer to Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named Desiree. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and her silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay. Nathan hopes his performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with many of his friends. Uh, Dana Ward. Yeah, I thought that was Dana. Uh, sophomore Dana was perfor has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go Bigfoots, social media, and school dance as she hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned to On a Dare and, as it turns out, actually really digs acting a sophomore. His other interests include playing sports, herbals, and <laughs> taking long walks in the woods. That's a bit odd. Juliet Watson playing 
counseling Ariel. Juliet's uh, primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel, the capricious and powerful spirit. Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton directing a veteran of Broadway. Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts mentor and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never to forget his motto, Ars Gracia Artis. Tempest stage manager Steph Gingrich, tech crew Adam Glenn, Gina Yao, Stella Hill, Jason Redford, sound design Brooke Scott, program cover and poster Evan Harris. Special thanks to Principal Wells, Rose Amber. Hmm. So that must be Rachel Amber's mom, Caroline Prescott, Prescott family, Helen Christensen, Bernadette Hoida. Oh, yeah, she's the English teacher, Samuel Taylor, and especially the Prescott Foundation. Nice. Hey, now. Pencils for stage hey, manager, AK Steph only. Cute. Um, now, the thing is, is there anything I can graffiti? Dish. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Pencil fund. <laughs> it's empty. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. <laughs> Should be life is drama. Life is strange. Sweet caller, Pepe. Nice. Can I go on stage, please? No. Missing on, out on my uh, glamorous stage time. Anyway, let's go grab the bag and yada yada. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Ooh. Hmm. That's Rachel looks so happy. Mr. Yeah. Amber and Rachel. I think they upgraded the photos as well. Looks pretty good. More detail in all the drawings too. There's Rachel's belt. Okay, so we have yeah, the so belt. We'll give this to Rachel now. Now, question is, I'm gonna keep searching for graffiti elements here, because I think there's a banner for the drama club that we can. Graffiti, according to the books. Well, must be a hundred costumes in here. Interesting. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Maybe. Poster. Oh, we can graffiti this. Let's do it. Halo for Rachel. Let's be kind. You know, good stuff. We don't want to attack anyone. Good karma, as I keep saying. Hmm. Let's see. Save my life. Get some ink. <laughs> Dramatis personae. Nice. So we got that. Moving canvas, dead white guy, happy Brad old car. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. <laughs> Hate and stealing pencils, huh? Um, note? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. <laughs> I would be into that. Guess who? Logan. Guess who? Logan. <laughs> ay, 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 Logan. You gotta do better than that. It's a bit cringe, buddy. Cringe. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her. Or throw the belt over. I'm not gonna throw it. I mean, I think I threw it last time. Just put your hat. Okay, sure. Put. Your, I meant more like put your. Okay. They're they're high schoolers. Um, that was a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So. Ah, did you the game the censored it for us. Room? Good. Uh. I'll owe you. Uh, I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Okay.
Wow, that was fast. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Um. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Seems Pretty like the better option. Show. We'll have to do it again. Sure. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. Okay. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Oops. Oops. Ah, uh, that's deep. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Um. Has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Ah. Can we cover it up with some makeup? We can cover it up, okay. Now. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so we don't do the makeup part. Good. I want to keep it as a battle scar. I mean, you can't barely see it. You can barely see it. Oh, where are we? We're at the junkyard. No? Yeah. We're at the junkyard. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're going to go rogue, we're doing it right. Jeez. I'm about to get suspended. Well, Maybe expelled. What the hell am I getting into here? Yeah. Good question. Run Sesame Street. Yo, Rachel Amber is on something. An all A student deciding to skip class. Where That's a bit strange. Go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Then we can talk to Max. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Okay. Oh, Elliot. Hey, why aren't you in chem? Everything okay? Yep. Why are you texting in class? What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Sweet. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Hmm. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Okay. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Maybe we can tag it saying dead white guy in here. <laughs> Whoa. Nathan's dad Whoa. is a Terminator? That what is this? Totally checks out. Widgets are us. Maybe a company's closing down. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. Mm. Yeah. I wonder what the symbols mean. There's my chair. Okay. Let's move it then. I mean, I'm sure that's like some equipment. Things heavier than it looks. Alright. We're gonna check Guess the back. Yeah, of course we can graffiti something. See humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in pre this Preachy graffiti. Oh, we can add graffiti. Nice. I'm <laughs> just casually graffitiing this. Everybody lies. <laughs> Rachel Amber just chilling there and we're just graffitiing in the corner. <laughs> Everybody lies. I like that. Nice. Another graffiti for the books. Mulligan stew. I like that. I like that a lot. Books. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last oh, year. Someone left their now Huck Finn I'm here. Huh? It. Price one. Twain zero. Nice. So let's quick look at the graffiti options here. We got everybody lies. Dead white guy, old car, happy brat. Let's sit. Alright, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Okay. Is this nervousness? Is that what this oh, is? Oh, she is having feelings she towards Rachel. Hair, so I could ask. Should I make small talk? 
<laughs> that what people do? Um. Nice weather. It's nice, Rachel. We're having. <laughs> it's the light. What? It's the I line. Mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. It is. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, mm. I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. It's a big L. I, and I only take L's in my life, apparently. Mr. Keaton, maybe? I didn't mention it earlier, but... You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. <laughs> you will get on this train. Ah, shucks. We're already here. <laughs> Shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. Yes, precisely. That's not occurred. Yeah. Well, I wanted some company. That's it? That's it? Hmm. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. Interesting. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't yep. know me. You don't yep. know me. Let's do something fun. Um, let's try. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Too far. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. Mm. What? I think. We should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. A lie. Precise. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. Okay, let's see. What, what are we going to say? Who starts? Do I start? Do you start? I'll start. Okay. First... I'm ambidextrous. Okay. Second, I was born in New York. Ah, uh, that's a that's a lie. To which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. We know this from the first game. I've never been. She's an LA girl. Not a world traveler? Not yet at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Uh, I don't know where okay. I would go. I'm going to climb Everest. Wow, drama queen. And I thought moving <laughs> away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. Precisely. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Oh, right. Shucks. I'm a Leo. A Leo. Wow. Uh, that I don't know. Okay. So. And to be honest, I could care less about. New York and a Leo. So star gotcha. signs or whatever zodiac so, signs or whatever it is. is I know that you are not from New York because the file from Life is Strange One that we just played a couple of days ago showed that she was from LA. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Yeah, she's from LA. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West yeah. Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Nice. Okay, your turn, Price. All right. Fact. Right. Two truths and a lie. So myself. facts. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? No, nah, we're gonna play it cheat? real. We're not gonna cheat. No. Let's see how good she really is at this game. Hmm. Let's start with the truth. Um. No, you love country music. Uh. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. 
Neil huh. deGrasse Tyson gets a shout out. Nice. S add the lion between. Broke my hand punching someone. Seems quite on topic with a black eye. No way. Bitch took my yuhu. Knocked her the oh, <laughs> out. Jesus. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Oh. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. What what scar? I don't know. And we'll tell the final truth. I want to be a pirate as I a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. All right. Poke away, Rachel. See how good you are. Or hella mysterious, Chloe. Hella. That's where she gets it, huh? Hella. <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Oh, really? Of course Call me. Be a pirate. <laughs> Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> 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 so pirate, obviously true. Hmm. Be my first mate. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh. Are you accepting applications? Yes. Considering it. Okay, okay. awkward silence. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best. Precisely. Blackwell's that a hellhole. This is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. Yikes. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say hmm. true. Good. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock <laughs> Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo hoo, she's got it. <laughs> Damn straight. But you didn't get that scar from What scar? Somewhere. I don't no. see a scar. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. Whoa, she knows her stuff. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was ten. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh, the point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like backwards. Backward? Yeah. I guess six years ago. So when she was like seven. Well, shit. Ten. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Oh, she's flirting with us, huh? So a little sprinkle of flirt. If my math is correct. You told me two truths and one lie. Precisely. I don't cheat. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Hmm. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. Bo bo bo. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe. It's impressive. Christ. I'm gonna feel good about that one. Okay. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Oof. Seriously? DA's Seriously. office, huh? I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. <laughs> Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, oh yeah, her truck isn't in the picture yet. Moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting hey? me? You played the game. Yeah. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> but it is the truth. Eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. Hmm. You opened up a lot. That's all. I don't think I've had rum. It's not a big deal. I don't drink. What Hate am I to saying? Break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh, trust is hard. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. Because every time no, she trusted I Dad, he died. On the other trusted hand, Max, Max I got left. On train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Okay, what are we gonna do? Kiss. <laughs> oh yeah. Awkward silence. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Uh 
listen alone. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna share. Obviously, hey. we're gonna share. Wanna listen? It would be so awkward if you listen to it alone. It's just like zoning someone out. It's kind of like an insult too. Do I press space to get rid of the music? Because we're not obviously listening to any music. I love this song, by the way. It's called Silence. Beautiful. Anyway. Space to leave. There we go. I'm gonna leave. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. Hmm. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Ooh. I hear you. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day... I'm just out of here. Ooh. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. Okay. That was a what? bit somber and Where then. Is here? Jump and find out. Did you say oh, yeah. jump? Jump. Trust her. Jump. Let's go. <laughs> That's a meme-worthy moment. Just saying. Sue Shorts on YouTube as well. Make some funny memes there. I say funny, but it's just like a clips channel. Anyway. We've jumped out of a train to find ourselves at a natural park. Interesting. Oh, there's the lady. Important lady. Oh, look at him go. Jazzercise. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green. All right, what are we doing here? I mean, my memory serves a lot better in this game than the previous one because Life is Strange 1 I haven't played in, what, six, seven years? This one is just five months, so... All right, what are we doing here? Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Oh, what's that? Another one. I like games. Another one. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Hmm. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. <laughs> hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. Funny. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Hmm. Let's fire it up. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, why are you angry? <sighs> ¿Qué pasó? Something's up with Rachel. Her attitude. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? I'm poor. I'm broke. Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. All right. Leave it to me, as with every game, just pushes me into doing everything. Okay, Mikey. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an a-hole. Just most of the time. Forget it. Aw, gotta be nice to Mikey, come on now. Anyway, what is there to... Okay, happy Brad, old car... Okay. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. Dead white. Oh. I'd love to get it working for her. 
oak tree. The lonely oak looks lonely. The lady down there. Yes, Very important. Very important. You'll see in a moment. That's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? <laughs> combination of state parks, uh, combination of state parks, iconic white oak tree is one of the oldest in the Pacific Northwest. Its curved chair-like growth pattern reflects the Native American custom of shaping such trees to mark trails or denote areas of cultural importance. Estimates age the tree at 400 to 550 years old, uh, though interior butt rot, polyporous dryophilus. Uh, prevents more accurate analysis. A scar on the north end of the trunk attests to the tree survival of a direct lightning strike approximately 200 years ago. The narrow rings indicate times of drought, disease, or regrowth from wildfire. Interesting. Very cool. Let's huh. investigate. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Hmm. Interesting. We will find something to do with that. Looks like this one might actually be working. So we just need our quarterback. Not like the football quarterback, but we need our quarter back. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer mm. guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing Oof. laundry and spitting out kids. <laughs> Fuck you, Dwight. Yikes. So aggressive. This blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Mm. Founders keepers, I guess. This spot marks the terminus of Ezekiel Blackwell's expedition westward to found the town shows a culmination and Arcadia Bay on March 14, 1838. Blackwell and the group of uh, Pentecostal settlers left Independence, Missouri for Oregon. On March 3, 1839, I think there needs to be a comma after Missouri, but anyway, Blackwell's expedition arrived at Overlook Park. Upon seeing the Pacific Ocean from this location, Blackwell determined the expedition and concluded and founded the town of Culmination. The group later returned south to found Arcadia Bay so named for Blackwell's veneration for the area's natural beauty and desire to live in harmony with its native peoples. Culmination Peak, renamed Culmination State Park, was designed as a or designated as a state park in 1997 by order of Governor John Kitzhaber. Um, Northwest of Valor Statue built 1992 col uh, celebrating Culmination's sesqu sesquicentennial. Dwight Mueller, designer. Hmm. Interessante. Ooh, initials. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and BW? What the heck is AW and BW? I'm innocent. So I do not know. <laughs> uh, sit. A little zen moment, I guess. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yikes. Yeah. Let's not do that today. Hmm. Okay, I think she's done thinking. Let's go. Um, see the squirrels. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Scare them. Come on, squirrels. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. <laughs> oh, the birds came now. Interesting. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Hmm, interesting. Tire swing? If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost. Oh. Some shit. There's a rope right there. Hmm. Tire swing fell off. Fell off. You fell off. Plus ratio. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything? Dedicated plate. We could tear that off by I the looks of it. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Precisely. Anyway, let's make a way downtown. Walk in fast. Wait. A wall. Is that the same AW as before? Yikes. Not afraid of commitment, I see. Whoever this AW is has been dating quite a bit. Sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. Hmm. You've been on me for three hours. 
Interesting. Oh, we got dialogue options. Totem pole. Whoa. That's badass. Indeed it is. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. The Salishan tribe totem pole. The raven stands for transformation. Its grinning face betrays its stricter spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and other native peoples. Some say the raven helped create the first man. Raven is to be respected, never trusted. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, bird's nest. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are. From whatever is around mm. you. Interesting. Can I dumpster dive? Look. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. That's still. Wino has a classy ring to it. Vito, not Wino. Hey, spare some change. Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. Yikes. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? <laughs> what kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Yikes. She's right there. These guys are weird. I just need a quarter, mate. I'm trying to t use the viewfinder. Anyway. Humans are dicks. That's what you learn from this. Okay. So I think we need to, if my memory serves correct, we need to try prying it open first. And then we're going to fail. And then we're going to use the... Whatever plaque that was next to. Nothing in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Yes, let's speak to her. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? A knife. Yeah. My what do you friend. have? A uh, knife? No. no. <laughs> How about a nail file? Of course, you have a nail file. I mean, I it's the closest thing to a knife. Yeah. With the nail file. <laughs> oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Let's go. Okay, Victoria. Chloe Price. I heard some effed up stuff from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb. Go back to your... Okay. Mm By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. I don't see... Didn't, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning. Ah, <laughs> uh, Victoria. Never change. Or rather, I should say, never changes. Scare? Is there a point to all this? Ah, you fools. The squirrels are going to come back, aren't they? Yeah. Not quite sure if there's any significance to that, but... Unscrew. Nice. Martin Lewis Pre Whoa, that's Rachel's there, girl. Don't throw away the nail file. Give it back to her. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. Hey. Yo, don't don't throw away that nail file. It's Rachel Amber's. I would want it back if I were her. Um Steph. Um okay. Hey, heads up, Wells is on the warpath. Oh no, seriously, just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us, Mikey. Had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Nice. Good karma. Let's go and reopen this viewfinder. Let's take a look at the sign this first. Day is out of order, <laughs> but in the best possible way. Okay, uh, let's pry this open. Press got power. Activate. Ooh, is it opening? Apparently it is. Impressive. Ah, there's a quarter. Hey, we got it back. Let's use the other viewfinder then. Not to brag. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in all of your powers. Yeah.
Rachel smells like <laughs> Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now too? I really should have showered this morning. <laughs> she has All a crush. Right. Here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying okay. and thinking. That's it. I do that in my head during like every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Okay. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when <laughs> we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Hmm. Um Who else? Oh. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Uh nature's Wi Fi sucks. Nature's Wi Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. <laughs> Only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. <laughs> Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awkward. Bit awkward, the transition. Oh. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Jazzercise. No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. <laughs> it's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. Okay. <laughs> Where else? So we got a statue here. Interesting. You I haven't totally seen this before. Great art project. Wow. You made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain. <laughs> Give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Impressive. Um, guess these guys are the last ones. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Uh, child sacrifice. Let's go. Lord saideth, thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. <laughs> now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Of Too course. Dark. Perfect dark. Okay. Oh, there's this a cutscene now. Who's next? They have control now. Oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Whoa. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. <laughs> vibrating beds. <laughs> oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Yikes. Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Uh oh. Excuse me. Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Mm -hmm. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. Okay. It's got to be against some school ditching rule. Hmm. I'm in. Uh. Hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party. Be my guest. How gracious of you. She has some kind of like attitude problem. I don't know. You'll see why, but yeah, she has this like sudden change in mood here and there. They have a bottle of wine. Hmm. Let's steal it. Uh, Whoa. Okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with <laughs> anybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Yikes. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Okay. Um, can we help you? <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. All right. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Swipe. Uh. 
Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Uh, what help, Rachel? I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Let's do these. What are these. you waiting for? Go! Uh, who's the one waiting? Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. <laughs> when? It's time to nut up or shut up. Yikes. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? Si, I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good Jesus, point. you want to go all the way? Keep watch while you go. Keep watch while you go. Uh, watch her die. Uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman is <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Stat. Oh no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> yep. Definitely needs mouth to mouth. Yikes. Okay. Okay. You can do this. You can do this. I can't do it. What the heck is up this guy? He's clearly useless. This woman Yikes. needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Um unlock your potential. Hey, Let's go. Look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Hmm. Is that a dub? Might be a dub. Oh, hey, wow. Swipe the bottle. Let's go. Swipe the bottle. You Quickly. Saved my life. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. That was incredible. <laughs> You're a hero. Jeez, that was all I it guess took. I am. Lol. Yo, she's just going for it. Here, you earn this. No thanks. Oh, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, are we gonna get her drunk? Is that a direction we could take this yo what she's going too hard on I the cough syrup i'm excessively sober right now right okay guess we're leaving now oh Hmm. We're back to where we started, the junkyard, for sure. Aw, squirrel. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Did she just drink the whole bottle by herself? Maybe. Hmm. The junkyard. The infamous or maybe famous junkyard. Great. It's a pile of trash. Oh uh, my god, it's so yeah, pessimistic. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Hmm. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. Precisely. What's her deal? Don't know. Uh, call her out. Maybe. Call her out. I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. 
Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left Ooh, alone right attitude. Now. That's just so I understand because she's in the same mood as we are. Yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you. Yo, what is this I didn't mood change? Did. Is this like... I'm just saying I understand. Don't know no, what this is, but is really this... Fuck. Oh, fudge, you know. Uh, okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. Hmm. I can work with that. Okay. It's a hard knock life for us. Score. Hulk smash everything. Maybe give Rachel a hey, show. Check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. Oh. I asked you to leave me alone. Whoa. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Whoa. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You See can't ya. leave. Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Yikes. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Oh. I forgot about this one. I think I went with friendship. I don't know. I mean, I guess for story's sake and what we know of Chloe from the original playthrough. I mean... And the messages and the hints we're getting make me say it? from say what? everything exactly. we've seen so far. You know, like a, a friendship. friendship, but more. But more. Ah, I know. Weird, right? It's just today was the best day I've had since since my dad died, hmm. and when I almost ruined it just now. The way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. But I can't. Mm hmm. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. Hmm. I know it isn't fair. But it's how it is. Yikes. Yikes. Goodbye, Chloe. <laughs> what was this day then? It's a bit of a empty one. Just a waste of time. Whoa, the tears just all of a sudden came down. We literally accomplished nothing over, over one day. Alright. What are we saying? Mario Smash Bros. time. Fuck this place. Okay. Bottle can go Samayash. The sign can take a beating. Good kiddos. Yikes. It's a bit weird. That thing bent way too easily. I think we just got a text message, by the way. Mom. Uh. 
Okay, your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Elizabeth Price. You can ignore me all you want, but there will be hell to pay when you get home. Okay. Toolbox. Screw you, David. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Huh? Oh. Just gonna... Fuck you, David. Oh. Thought you were gonna smash with the bat. Never mind. Box of junk. Okay. Oh, there's a camera. Screw oh, what a camera I angle. Invested your heart on for cameras, Max. He took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Yo. Fuck cameras. Okay, what else? Ooh, mannequin head. Let's smash it. You know she's fake, y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Ooh. Fuck off, Rachel. Okay. Oh, that's Chloe's uh, truck. Don't smash it up too much, you're about to drive that thing. Oh yeah, I remember what this was. Damn. Dad. Ay, 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 ay. William died in that car. Yikes. Poor guy. Kid shouldn't be seeing that though. Yeah. Smash! Hulk smash! <laughs> smash again. Smash again. Poor girl. Poor her. Oh, we're back in the car with dad. Imaginary dad. Dad from my head. Oh yeah, song's back. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Music's off. Oh Jesus. Death Raven. Because you're not real. Hmm. <laughs> oh my oh god, no. that was David Madsen mixed. What in. is going on? Uh, I guess I did that. Mannequin Hen, Rachel Amber, of course. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? Hmm. What bright side? You made a new friend today. Hmm. Um, look at the wine. I don't feel drunk. 
Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Ah, and we took off the head of the mannequin. Good banter. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. And the Tempest. What's past is prologue and shit. Hmm. Sometimes people need you, though. Watch the road, buddy. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> Even when they don't admit it. Oh. Oh, she's on fire. <laughs> Phoenix rising from the ashes. Girl on fire. She has superpowers. Rachel. Alrighty, let's see. She fell asleep in the core. What is up with her fingertips? It's all white. I guess the textures aren't coming in. Does she have paint on her left hand, maybe? I don't know, it just seems like her fingertips aren't um, rendering in. Look at that. Her left fourth finger and fifth finger. Pinky missing a bit. See ya, William. Oh God, my camera died. Of course it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Death Raven going by. All right, camera's back. Let's see. Talk to Rachel Amber here. I mean, we don't have much left. This is the ending of the episode anyway. We're almost there. Wow, three hours almost. That's impressive. Wow, she's still here. I'm glad. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but... But? I don't know how to talk about this. That's okay. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Si, senorita. The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. You're not my dad. Right. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Yikes. Oh. The worst part is <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something Ooh. for a while. He's having an I affair, maybe. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number oh. asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Ah, uh -huh, that's why you want to skip class today. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Ooh. When my dad died, 
I was so mad at him. For months. I think you still are mad. Wrong. Because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. Hmm. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. Hmm. It's silly. I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there. Yeah, we saw the photo in your backpack, yeah. And I fell and broke my Ansia? What's Ansia? I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... I guess we can comfort her. Maybe we should give her space. Yeah, never it's mind. So strong, you know. We. I mean, why make that decision when it's already going to make the decision for him? You trusted him completely. Here, Chloe, I owe you an apology. I owe you one too. Let's trade hey, apologies. We were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. <laughs> That's in you. Jewish. That's in you. Courage? Interaction. I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation I just want you to know I'm lucky hmm. that you were with me today you're a badass Chloe Price what remember that <laughs> biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill you talked your way right past him she saw that huh. you saw that and those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs you dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls only because you showed up at the last minute and what about save the day when he was picking on Nathan you how'd you find out about that and called him out <laughs> how yeah, does she found sweet, all that out I don't know see she, you weren't even at school you're the real thing Chloe I don't know anyone like you plus you came along with me no questions asked well <laughs> I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. Hmm. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Um... I'm oh. so sorry, Rachel. Hello. Gotta follow. Hello, hello. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. They say that, okay. but they get trapped by the ankles. Arcadia Bay will never let you leave. Oh, what are you going to do with that photo? Don't you? Can I borrow your lighter? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Starting dumpster fires now. Uh-oh. Not the safest thing to do. Symbolic, though. I get you. Oh. That's a real trash fire right now. Come on. Oh, God. 
And I. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a meme I made on my shorts channel, but you can see that. But there we go. The flame of fury, flame of passion, you could say. Burning the oldest tree in the park, I think. Oh dear. Well, forest fire incoming. And there you have it. End of the first episode. Frank Bowers with Damon. Da da Damon Merrick. Or whatever his name is. I feel bad for Frank, by the way. Oh my god, that spread quite rapidly. With David Madsen. And Joyce. Forest fire. Yo, that is quite big of a forest fire, not gonna lie. It's as big as the California wildfires, no? I would be quite concerned if it's that quick. Oh yeah, Drew, Mikey, Steph. I I gotta say, they remastered this, but Steph looks kinda odd. I'm not sure. Let me know. Just feel a bit odd. Hmm. The lady. The mysterious lady. What's her identity? We shall never know. Or we will later on in the series all right that is it episode one awake let's see how our choices oh achievement unlocked awake dear heart okay that is it okay so yeah compared to the first remastered version of the game or like life is strange remastered they showed the credits they didn't show the credits in the first one but anyway let us quickly space to exit and see our choices. You attacked 68% did when you ran 32. I mean, that's the only difference is do you get a black eye or not? So that is that. You were mean to Joyce, 32%. You were kind to Joyce. Of course, I'm always on the kind side. I did that in my previous playthrough, which you can find on my YouTube channel. But we wanted to try the mean route. Um, you defended Nathan, 82% did. A lot of people do that. Uh, you told Rachel you are more than just friends, 83% did. I mean, it kind of makes sense considering the storyline we know from the uh, Life is Strange game itself. So it's only natural to go that way, I think. You took the money, 57% did. You purchased a pot from Frank, Frank 35% did. You read Joyce's self-help book, 53%. You put the photo of William on the dresser, 67 You didn't slip money into Joyce's purse, 87%. Because we didn't have the money anymore, we bought pot from Frank. You told Elliot you wouldn't go to the play with him, 42% uh, did. You told Skib you liked his demo. Why wouldn't you, to be honest? Uh, you finished a tabletop game with Steph and Mikey. Yep. Uh, you sabotaged Victoria's homework. Nope. You s didn't sabotage it. You told Rachel falling in love is stupid. You shared earbuds with Rachel. I mean, why wouldn't you? And then you jumped out of the train. Six 96%. So, yeah. A, li a couple of interesting choices here. Just wanted to see how things would change compared to my original playthrough. So that is why I made certain dis decisions that you may not be accepting. Like I felt weird taking the money and, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, being mean to Joyce. That was kind of weird. But I mean, this playthrough is all about finding differences and, you know, experiencing new things. 
So that is it for chapter one or episode one. We're gonna go to Brave New World next, which will be live streaming tomorrow. Of course, you see Awake here, Brave New World, Hell is Empty. That's a three episode um, saga here for Before the Storm. And then Farewell is also remastered. And I'm really excited to play this because this episode was a lot better than these three, to be honest. But there we go. This is also a nice touch from the game. They add the change of the scenery with the progression of the story so chapter two of course is going to be quite feisty and we also saw the forest fire starting so that is why everything's on fire on the menu right now and yeah this is gonna be a fun episode tomorrow so i'll be live streaming again tomorrow 4 p.m gmt time to start the next episode i uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live more life is strange before the storm is going up on the channel until we finish it so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video hope you guys are staying safe stay healthy and as always take care of yourselves I'll see you guys in the next episode last year we bought a house outside of boulder you know how Kathy always missed that Rocky Mountain sky. She said, let's move before my folks get any older. So they can see the grandkids grow up for a while.